how are we going to sell music when music is free? No one solved the complete problem yet, but what we see is what the taste of what people are going to be. We see that streaming is the new way. So people are like, okay, I don't want to hold this physical thing. I don't want it to take up gigs on my phone. I don't want it to take up gigs on my computer. I can stream whatever I want, right? So how do we compensate artists for the streaming? That's where we are now, is that we're figuring out how to properly compensate artists for however many streams that they get on each of these services. That's, that's the problem. But it's not, a, it's not an unsolvable problem. There shouldn't be uh, this thing where everyone's equal because everyone's not getting an equal amount of streams. So there should be some set price. When we do that in economics, we set a price for something. This is the price for oil. This is the price for this. This is the price for that. And we set how, what the value, all, all value is. Who is, determines is, this? We do. Gold, the price is set for gold because we agree to it. If we didn't see gold as, the, as something that we value, if we didn't value gold, if gold was sand, it means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. It's, it's all up here that we put that value on gold and we're willing to pay that price. The revenue of the global recording music industry is being cut in half since 1999. Absolutely. So let's kill, the, let's kill that industry. And that's Why not a it, bad thing? No, it's not. We create something else. Let's create something else. Let's create, that's what we do. We create things. So let's create something totally different. Why, does it, why are we still trying to save that ship? Let that ship go. If I made eight track recorders, they're done. Sorry, you have to move to something else. People but what are we moving beyond. to? How are you going to get paid? Or how is young, young guru going to get paid? I'll tell you now that I make more money now in this age than I ever made by doing one particular album. Why? Because what I do now and the music that I make is spread out to the rest of the world where I only had a very specific type of consumer when I was pressing CDs. So now I have, and I don't have this middleman in between me and my consumer. I'm going directly to that consumer. The new one that's kind of got me a little interested is crowdfunding. We're starting to see a lot of new creative effort funded in advance, um, Indiegogo and uh, Kickstarter to some extent, funding in advance, getting enough to build it and realizing that those true fans that are willing to back you before you're out may be enough. I actually think the real solution is still not seen though. The problem that we see in, in this is that we don't have value for our digital things in the digital age. If, if we're considering those things to be free, then the value is, taking, is taken away from what is actually the commodity in this new system. And I think that's the problem that we run against. And, and I'm not, as, as someone who loves design, I can't just sit here and go, oh, it's going to work itself out. I have to say, okay, I want it to be this way, and let's make it this way because we have now some wisdom, and we've seen this happen a couple of times. The artist is, is paid as though art, their art is a commodity, and it's not a commodity in, in my mind. So I view, I view it as art, and that's not a commodity. So the pricing model to me needs to change, and the whole remuneration process so I'm really interested to apply some technology to this to see if it, it can, um, can help. I would beg to say that the art is a commodity um, and that there needs to be some type of, of price associated with that art. The price is determined by whatever someone is willing to pay for that. If I have a painting, that painting is bought because that person sees the value in the artist, in whatever it is. You know, I, whatever it connects with them. What, we're, what that technology specifically that we're talking about is great is because of the fact that we have third party uh, instances on the, on the internet. Or should I say, okay, let's say this person makes a song, uh, it's streamed by whatever streaming service and they get the revenue from that, but what's to stop me as the consumer from ripping that and then putting that somewhere else and then the person doesn't get paid from that. What this technology allows you to do is sort of watermark your music without someone being able to take it off. Is that right? So, yeah, I mean, there, there, there are so many applications. Okay. That's, that's right, so that now I can get paid wherever my song is playing, regardless to you know, what the service was, I can still track my song. That's a big problem for us is that we may get paid from it once, but then it gets ripped and it gets used by something by someone else.